Hey guys, Sandy Son here. As uh, some of you may or may not know, I uh, quit my job at Walmart yesterday. I feel really good about that. Even though a lot of people were really concerned about, you know, oh Andy, you don't have a job, you don't have any kind of income, you know, what's going to happen? Right now, I am uh, going to uh, set up a website to earn me money. But wait Andy, you already tried that with not only theandysound.com, but Spicy Melon. What makes you think you're going to do better with this one? Well, basically, I'm going to have other people do it for me. I'm not as experienced as I should be, you know, designing a website, and I feel that I honestly don't need to be. If I really want to take this seriously, I should actually hire people who really know what they're doing instead of me and my grabastic attempts. That's right, I said grabastic. Doing this. I'm not going to outsource the andysan.com or anything like that. That's going to be strictly me. But as far as my main money-making uh, websites, that's going to be almost completely outsourced. In fact, I think that will be completely outsourced. I'm planning on uh, finally getting off my ass and uh, revamping spicymelon.com. That's going to be my first goal. I plan on making that a social networking site. Users can submit their own recipes. They can submit pictures of the recipes, either in finished form, pictures of the ingredients, pictures of uh, the recipes in steps. Like, you know, if you're making bread or something, you see, like, the uh, dough and how it should look at the end of each step. Users can also uh, submit videos from uh, external websites like uh, YouTube, Dailymotion, uh, think about like Rever. I'm really feeling very positive about Spicy Melon not now because I really have no experience actually creating a social networking site, but fortunately for me, there are people out there who do have the experience. And uh, right now I'm going to outsource people to pretty much build the site from the ground up again. Right now I'm going to a website called uh, elance.com. It was recommended to me by uh, Timothy Ferris, author of uh, The 4-Hour Workweek. He says he's got a lot of uh, good virtual assistants, or uh, VA, VAs, I should say from uh, that website. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I told them that I only have uh, between 50 to 500 bucks to play with, which is the minimum amount that you can submit. So we'll see how uh, well they get it done. And yes, I know I'm burning my money by doing this, but I feel that if they actually do a really good job, I could easily recoup the money because I plan on having uh, maybe like advertisements, things of that nature to uh, generate income for me from those sites, as well as uh, possible joint ventures. But I think maybe joint ventures could be kind of weaved in along with the regular ads. We'll see how it goes. Test something if it doesn't work, remove it and try something else. That's basically the name of the game when it comes to uh, doing stuff online. Yeah, my parents were uh, pretty pissed that I uh, quit my job. I don't care though. They want me to uh, immediately get another job. I might as well be dead because I don't have a job. The difference between me now and me back in uh, college or even over at my uh, aunt and cousin's house is that I actually have a plan now. I'm not just uh, saying, okay, I don't want to work. I feel that, you know, the first step in me actually doing something and earning myself money outside of, you know, getting a job, working the 9 to 5, or in my case, you know, the 2 to 10s, is uh, actually removing myself from the workplace. Now, I know this sounds like cutting your arm off in order to get a new uh, biomechanical body. I feel in the long run this will help me out. And, you know, if all else fails, you know, say I don't make a dime with uh, SpicyMelon.com and I just, you know, perpetrate myself further and further into debt by trying to make these sites. I could go back to the workplace. I'm not completely worthless. I can go back and get another job if I really want to. I could go back, you know, maybe work at McDonald's, Burger King, things like that. I could even get a job over at uh, Chiefs, which is another uh, grocery chain. It's probably more of a local chain, so a lot of people outside of the uh, Ohio, Indiana, possibly even Michigan area are not familiar with Chiefs. But they're a more localized franchise. So all of this is easily fixable. Right now, I just want to use the income that I've saved up, which is uh, probably around 700 now because I spent some money getting things. I get paid this coming Thursday. That'll be my uh, last big check. And then two weeks later, I get a, a smaller check for uh, the two days that I worked in that pay period, unless I decide to combine them, which uh, I highly doubt. So I will be getting probably a, a three to four hundred dollar check coming up here directly. So I'll be able to recoup all the money that I've spent and get some more money in the process. I'm not afraid of you know risking things. I mean, I'm only 22 years old. What do I really have to risk? I don't have a house. 
I don't have a car. I don't have kids. I don't have a wife. If there's any time to put your nuts on the table, you know, now's the time to do it because there's, because, you know, I honestly have nothing to lose. I mean, worst case scenario, I'm out on the street. All my things are uh, either thrown out or I can't carry them all. And, you know, that's that. You know, it's easily fixable. I could, although I really don't want to, I could go back to living with my aunt and cousins. I think, honestly, what I should do, if that would happen, would be to simply put my stuff in storage. Either have them store it for me, my aunt and cousins, or just uh, get like a store and lock, pay them a small amount, either a month or a year, whatever they do. Just either get a job, travel, do whatever the hell I want. I'm not going to die from not having a job. I'm not going to lose my life because, oh, I'm not working at Walmart, I'm dead. <laughs> All these debts and, you know, student loans and things like that, I am honestly not worried about them in the least because I know over a period of time I could easily repay them. I mean, hell, look at graduates, you know, teachers and doctors and all that. They, it takes even them, the doctors and the lawyers. It even takes them years, sometimes even decades, to pay off their student loans, either because they're not you know, making the money to just pay them off in one foul swoop or, you know, they already got the big house, the big car, and they don't want to spend too much extra money you know, as long as they're paying something on on their uh, student loan, then, you know, it's satisfying the creditors, so that way their credit's not bad. Why should they give a shit? I mean, they're in the same boat as, you know, the guy who signed up for, like, sports medicine or the crazy-ass people who signed up for Asian studies or English. They just, you know, they pay the minimum amount, maybe a little more if they get some extra money, and that's that. I'm honestly not afraid. I haven't paid anything on my uh, student loans as of yet. I'm kind of glad I didn't because that way, you know, I have 700 in the bank right now. Well, actually, it's a little more, so it's probably like 740, 750. And if I were to uh, pay off or pay on some of my student loans, and I do have some credit card debt, but it's it's not that much. I think collectively it's under a thousand, which is like fucking chump change compared to what you know some people go into debt with as far as credit cards go. In comparison to a lot of people who go in debt, I think combined the total amount of debt that I have is less than thirty thousand. Which honestly, it sounds like a lot, but compared with the average American, it's it's next to nothing. With my website. Yeah, that's right, I said, you know, more than one website. I feel confident that I'll be able to easily repay those debts or at least begin a payment plan on those debts so that way I don't have to worry about them anymore and my credit score is uh, raised which would definitely help me in uh, getting a better car unless you know I also happen to pay for the whole thing in cash which is another possibility but I think I might want to boost my credit that is my plan for now uh, this is Andy San signing off you guys have an excellent day and remember to read Timothy Ferris's The 4-Hour Workweek it is an excellent book I've, I haven't even finished reading it yet and I'm already like totally hooked he had me at a pay, by page 33 i'm continuing to read it and i think you guys should read it too all right see ya